Hello guys, I am Harun and this is my YouTube channel Harun Bajon. Today in this video I will solve 32 MCQ questions with full of explanation. Here I will try to solve every point and questions related theories properly. So after watching and understanding this video properly you can solve most of the questions related to this chapter and through this question also complete almost all the important part of this part of the theory of this chapter from where the questions mcu questions are coming in different type of competitive examination like nta neat and others so don't be late let's go and watch this video properly Okay, so here the first question, first MCQ question is which of the following statement is not correct? Nijaki Konsa statement is not correct. First, first one A is pollen germinates, germination and pollen tube growth are regulated by chemical components of pollen interacting with those of the pistils means pollen germination and pollen tube growth when the pollen uh, at the time of pollination when the pollen pollen are come and sit on the top of the stigma there are some chemical components of pollen interacting with the chemical components chemical components like <coughs> like calcium boron inositol sugar calcium boron inositol sugar complex produced on stigma okay that help to develop the pollen tube into the female plant or carpels or pollen sugar and minerals different type of minerals produce in the stigma so that help the pollen tube to germinate easily type of chemical component crystals some reptiles have also been reported as pollinator in some plant species yes this is the right answer right on right one because some insects some reptiles like lizard help this pollination this is called jufili pollen grains of many species can germinate on the stigma of a flower or pollen grain grain of Different species germinate on the stigma of flower, but only one pollen tube of the same species grows into the style, not false. More than one pollen tube. How it is developed? Explain later. Insect that consume insect that consume pollens or nectars without bringing about pollination are called pollen or nectar robbers. Okay. Here says insects that consume insects, insects like honeybees that consume absorb pollen or nectar without bringing about pollination are called pollen or nectar rubber. Okay, like honeybees. So here the here the here the right answer uh, one not correct not correct answer is here the not correct answer is C. This is the answer. Let me explain this question properly. First, pollen germinate and pollen tube growth are regulated by chemical component of pollen interacting with those of the pistils. What the same? When the pollen arrive at the tip of the stigma, the stigma, upper surface of the stigma carries moisture, sugar and minerals okay that help the pollen to attach and germinate easily okay then pollen tube develop this pollen tube develop by calcium boron inositol sugar calcium boron inositol sugar this developed by calcium boron developed by calcium boron inositol 
inositol sugar okay this chemical comp complex help to produce this pollen tube inside the style okay so here chemical composition like calcium boron inositol sugar that produce that produce by carpel and its help to develop this pollen tube and pollen tube produce pectinase enzyme this pectinase enzyme stimulate degrade this stigma all and develop inside the carpel number two some reptiles have also been reported as pollinator in some plant species some reptiles the some reptiles are also act as a pollinator act as a pollinator this is called zoophily this is called zoophily zoophily okay right pollen grains of many species can germinate on the stigma on the stigma of a flower but only one pollen tube of the here this is the mistake point only one pollen pollen tube depends on the genotype how many pollen tubes are grow that depends on the genotype of the flower say for example this is this is stigma this is pollen tube growth okay so here some alleles if the pollen grain alleles pollen contain s3 and s4 allele and the pollen grain uh, and the carpel contain s1 and s2 allele means different allele then both the pollen tube are grows but when the pollen grain contain s3 and s1 allele and the carpel carry s1 and s2 allele only the opposite allele s3 that absent here are growth but not s1 because s1 already s1 allele are present so the same type of allele do not develop the pollen help, help to develop the pollen tube here s2 and s1 here s1 s2 there is no pollen tube or occur so only opposite type of some the alleles or genotypes are present then the pollen tube grows clear so here the not correct answer is c next question exam examine the figure examine the figure given below examine the figure given below and select the right option out of a to d in which all the four structure a b and c and d are in identified correctly so here this is this is icornia crassipes that is offset this is called offset this is Mar markensia this is markensia that means bryophyte here arche anthridio4 this is anthridio4 this is embryo sac of the angiosperm so here it is antibodal cell it is synergids this is filiformes and this is polar nucleus and it, it is belongs to algae that is cara okay this is globule and nucule so here the right answer is c first one is offset second one anthridio4 bryophytes this is gymnosperm antibodal cell and this is ugonium okay ugonium in cara plant there is two type of reproductive structure occur because cara is a bisexual plant so here globule and nucule are produced this is globule this is nucleus or ugonium nucleus develop egg and globule develop sperm next question which one of the following represents an ovule where the embryo sac becomes horse shoe shaped and funicules and micropyles are close to each other the right answer is m right answer is amphitropus 
So let me explain this question properly. Here, so different type of ovules are present: orthotropous ovule, anatropous ovule, hemianatropous ovule, campylotropous ovule, amphitropous ovule, and sarcinotropous ovule. Here, this amphitropous, this here is the amphitropous ovule, looks like the horse shoe. Okay, here and here, here amphitropous. Embryos have become horseshoe shaped. This embryos have becomes horseshoe shaped, and the funicules and micropyles are close to each other. Here funicules means here the funicules. This is funicules. This is amphitropous ovule. Here funicules and and micropyles. Funicules and micropyles are close to each other. Here funicules and micropyles are close to each other. Okay. So it is horseshoe-like ovules where the funicules and micropyles are close to each other. So here the right answer is amphitropous ovule. Next question: Parthenocarpic tomato fruits can be produced by. What is parthenocarpy? Parthenocarpy means where the male and female gamete do not fuse or no do not syngamy occur. That is, if there is no syngamy, no seeds are produced. That is called seedless fruit, parthenocarpic fruit. The parthenocarpic tomato means the tomato without tomato are without seed. Treating the plants with phenyl mercuric acetate, removing androecium of flower before pollen grains are released. Treating the plants, treating the plants with low concentration of gibbalic acid and auxin, raising the plants from vanillized seed. Here, explain some. Points. First means parthenocarpy. Parthenocarpy means seedless fruit. Seedless fruit means where the ovules are not produced because ovule produce seed and ovary produce fruit. So here fruit are produced but seeds are not produced. That is seedless fruit. So here the seed gamete do not occur first. Treating the plants with phenyl mercuric acetate. This is wrong answer because Phenyl mercuric acetate reduces the transpiration of plants due to closing the stomata, not parthenocarpic fruit. Removing androecium of flowers before pollen grains are released. This is the right one, right one. But here, if you add some hormone, auxin and gibbalic, with this point, then it is right, right. But Here, one through uh, only removing androecium of flowers before pollen grain are released. This is not correct answer. Okay, this point of okay, but only this point the parthenocarpic fruit do not produce. Okay, and treating the plants with low concentration of gibbalic acid and auxin. This is right answer because treat the when these hormones are treated. Okay, at anthesis, at anthesis, after anthesis, anthesis means formation of flower. After formation of flower, the auxin hormone, low concentration of auxin hormone, is spread over the flower. There, parthenon got to be developed. But when, in case of gibbalic acid, during the time of anthesis, when the flower is formed, during the time of anthesis, anthesis means. Flowering time or flowering formation of flower. So when the flower formation is uh, proce proceed, then gibbalic acid are spread over the flower. But auxin, when auxin is used after the anthesis, after flowering, what is vanillized seed? Vanillized seed. Vanillized means here the seed germinate in low temperature condition. Okay, with the help of hormone vanillin. Okay, this vanillin hormone at low temperature or winter condition, it help to germinate the seed because this uh, during winter condition it accumulate water and loosen the oh loosen the loosen the all of the seed so seed can easily germinate. So this is low temperature here. Low temperature, 
low temperature low temperature required okay so here the right answer is c treating the plants with low concentration of gibberic acid gibberic acid when spread at the time of anthesis oxygen after anthesis okay right answer is c next question number of meiotic division required to produce 200 to 400 seeds of p would be 200 or 400 seeds products produce karne ke liye how many number of meiotic division occur okay so here right answer is 250 to 500 how let me explain <coughs> Number of meiotic division required to produce seeds is n plus n by four. N is number of seeds. Okay, or four means on meiotic division produce four cell. So it's four. So here two hundred first two hundred. So for two hundred n plus n by four two hundred plus two hundred by four the two hundred two hundred fifty. So this one right. For 400 seeds, for 400 seeds, he require 400, 404. That is 500. That is 500 is right. So this is the formula n plus n by 4. This is the formula n by n plus n by 4. N means number of seeds. Okay, and 4 means meiotic division. Meiotic division product. Product. After one meiotic division produced four cell. Okay. Next question. Generative cell was destroyed by laser, but a normal pollen tube was still found because vegetative cells is not damaged. It is right answer. Right option because vegetative cell do not. Killed or died by laser, but content of killed generative cell stimulate pollen growth. No pollen growth because if the generative cell die, then pollen do not grow. Laser beam stimulate growth of the pollen tube? Not. It is false. Laser beam do not stimulate the pollen growth because the generative cell already died by laser. The region of the emergence of pollen tube is not harmed. Because harmed. Let me explain. Suppose this is the <coughs> pollen tube. This is pollen tube, and this is this is pollen tube, and this is pollen. Okay. The here two are generative cell, and one vegetative cell is present here. This is a vegetative cell, and this is generative cell. Later, the generative cell divide to produce two haploid nucleus, but vegetative cell. Produce this pollen tube. Clear. So if the laser is applied, this pollen generative cell, this generative cell, destroy. But the vegetative cell that produce pollen tube do not destroy. Okay. So here the right answer is vegetative cell is not damaged. Perisperm is. What is perisperm? Perisperm is the persistent new cellars. Means after mature or after production of seed, when the seed carry the embryo, the new cellar cell are permanently present. The cellar cell do not degrade. The perisperm is the persistent new cellars. Okay, so let me explain. Here the here the seed, some pea seed. Is here some pea seed? Here some pea seed. Inside this seed, you looks. This is the endosperm. This is endosperm. This dot dot portion endosperm. This is cotyledon, but this is embryo. Where from this radical portion roots are developed, and this is dicotyledon means two cotyledon present from this. The new plant or upper upper part portion of the soil that is shoot portion are developed, 
but here the perisperm are present here the perisperm is present what is perisperm there is a persistent nucellus what is nucellus this is the embryo okay here the cells are these cells are called nucellus cells these cells are called nucellus cell these cells do not show the convert into endosperm or another cell which is permanently present in such cases so what is the difference between perisperm and endosperm perisperm it represents persistent remaining of nucellus it develops from primary endosperm nucleus okay pen persistent primary endosperm nucleus it is part that belongs to seed it is usually dry but it is usually in fluid form it is soft the water order of coconut and maize is soft and watery but here black pepper in case of black pepper the dry type of perisperms are present next question in a fertilized embryo sac in a fertilized embryo sac the haploid diploid and triploid structures are okay if if this is this is the embryo sac here antipodal cells are present three antipodal cell here some synergids are present three synergids here filiform apparatus are present and here trip diploid nucleus are present to so here the fertile haploid haploid diploid and triploid so here diploid structure is 2n antipodal cell and synergids are n number synergids are n number to so here the structure is uh, the haploid the so synergids and antipodal cells are haploid after this is egg cell okay after fertilization after fertilization this is egg cell is n number but after fertilize the male or generally pollen is pollen nucleus are derived and to produce two n nucleus but here the two n and the pollen nucleus come and produce three n type of nucleus so here the synergids or antipodal cell synergids or antipodal cells are haploid in nature antipodal cell haploid in nature and pollen nuclei is triploid in nature this is pure pollen nuclei <coughs> sorry there haploid diploid and triploid haploid diploid haploid antipodal cell synergids primary endosperm nucleus to so here right answer is synergids synergids kya what what is synergids synergid this is this is synergid cell and this is antipodal cell so synergids are haploid in nature zygote means this one This triploid in nature and primary endosperm nuclear. This is three in nature. So three are the right answer is right answer is this one. Synergids haploid, antipodal haploid, pollen nuclei triploid. Antipodal haploid, synergids haploid, primary endosperm three n. Synergids haploid, pollen nuclei triploid and zygote diploid. so here the correct answer is n 2n and 3n a is the correct answer <coughs> you can see it here this is the embryo sac this is the embryo sac where eight cells are present in the ovule so here antipodal cell are haploid in nature synergids are haploid in nature egg cells are haploid in nature polar nuclei are haploid in nature but primary endosperm is 3n in nature okay i think it's clear to you next question if stock contain 58 chromosome and cion contain 30 chromosomes then how many chromosomes are present in root and egg cell of resultant plant respectively resultant plant respectively here the right answer is 58 and 15 how the right answer is 58 and 15 this is the cion portion and this is stock portion the from stock portion the roots are developed root cells are diploid in nature but from cion portion the leaf 
stem the flower are developed so so if the flower is developed or is the egg are developed gamete are developed then it is haploid in nature so here the say here, the cell of the in the stalks are always diploid but cell of the in the cion may be diploid or haploid so here in if a stock content 58 chromosomes and cion content 30 chromosomes then how many chromosomes are present in root root means diploid cell diploid cell means 58 chromosome already content and egg cell egg cell is a haploid cell that develop from cion portion okay so here the 50 percent of the total chromosome number are present in egg cell that is 15 okay i think you can understand in case of polyembryony if an embryo develops from the synergids and the another from the new cellus then synergids embryo is to here <coughs> here we explain this is embryo sac this is antipodal cell this is synergids filiform apparatus this is egg, egg nucleus and this is polar nucleus so here polar nucleus is 2n egg nucleus is n synergids n antipodal cell n so here synergids synergids and means haploid so here synergids in haploid in nature n number in chromosome another from the new cellus new cellus means the cell around the embryo sac the outer cell outer cell these are new cellus so these new cellus are two n number of cell so they have diploid so haploid and diploid is the correct answer c is the correct answer let here th you can see this is the embryo sac this is the chromosome number this is antipodal cell this is synergids okay synergids and antipodal cell are haploid in number so from if their embryo develop from antipodal cell and cyanide, antipodal cell or synergids they are haploid in nature okay but in case of new cellus this new these are new cellus cell when the embryo develop this from this new cellus cell the new cellus is a diploid diploid in nature new cellus is a diploid in nature so diploid in nature so if the embryo develop from this new cellus the embryo become diploid in nature so here the right answer is haploid and diploid next question consider the following statement and choose the ones that represent <coughs> tapetum what is tapetum tapetum is the innermost layer of the embryo so no, embryo not pollen microsporangium it is a single single innermost layer is right one it provide nutrition to the pollen grain this one also right it helps to the dispersal of the microscope now microscope dispersal by stomium stomium not by tapetum it stores reserve food during early stage of development okay it is to reserve food during early stage of development this is also right answer so here 1 2 and 4 is right answer means here 4 and 2 are right answer and it is wrong answer let me explain this question properly here the microsporangium okay anther lobe and the four lobe are present if it is the anther then four lobes are present so here some magnifying diagram magnifying pictures are present yes, so the outer layer is called epidermis okay this layer is called epidermis then endothesium is present here okay then middle layer is present these three layer help to protection or help to protective layer form protective layer of the microspore mother cell or sporogenesis cell and here the inner layer is called tapetum this is tapetum layer okay tapetum layer the tapetum layer provide nourishment to the pollen development pollen at the time of microsporogenesis 
okay and this is called stom and also tapetum secretes sporopollenin okay it is on type of fat that deposit and produce the exine of the pollen tube or for outer outer covering of the pollen tube tapetum also release the first nutritive layer nutritive tube layer number 2 it is secret sporopollenin sporopollenin that produce exine exine outer wall of the pollen number 3 it secret callose callase enzyme when the spore tetrad are produced when spore tetrad spore tetrad are produced this spore are attached each others each another one another by callose this callose is break down by the callase and the four pollens are separate from each other okay next question to hear the right answer is one one number right answer two number right answer and four number right answer but here three number is the wrong answer next question identify the part label a b c and d the given figure and selected the correct option so here a means chalaja a this is micro pile region this is micro pile region okay through which the pollen tube are enter into this ovule clear b b is the <coughs> new cellus or new cellus this is the new cellus number c c is the embryo sac inside this embryo sac eight synergids antipodal cell pollen nuclei and egg are present and this is the chalaja region chalaja region okay here the right answer is d this is micropyle through which the pollen tube enter into the ovule number b this is the nucellus region diploid cell c is the embryo sac within which the antipodal cell synergids and egg cell pollen nucleus present and this is chalaja region then here the funiculus hilum etc are present next question in angiosperms normally after fertilization the zygote divide earlier than the primary endosperm the so what is the function of endosperm endosperm is the food of embryo if the embryo produce before the food then embryo die so what happened first the em uh, embryo food food of the embryo that is endosperm are fertilized endosperm are formed then the fert then the zygote is divided okay so their right answer is the primary endosperm nucleus divide earlier than the zygote okay so when the primary endosperm nucleus is divided means the food of the embryo are ready then the zygote is divide to produce embryo that embryo taken the endosperm as a food and develop okay right answer is b next question which of the given statement are true during the development of a dicot embryo heart shaped embryo is followed by globular shaped globular shaped embryo the part of the during the development of dicot this embryogenesis in angiosperm dicot plant the globular stage first globular stage arrive arrive then the heart shaped stage arrived this is wrong point the part of the embryonal axis above the level of cotyledon is epicotyle while the part below the level cotyledon is called hypocotyle this is right answer monocot seeds possess a single cotyledon represented by scutellum yes 
right so 2 and 3 is the right answer here let me explain this question with some suitable diagram this is suppose this is the made gmh seed okay this this is the embryo portion this is endosperm portion portion if you magnifically shown this then here some radical region present inside the embryo inside this embryo inside this embryo some radical portion and radical is covered by the coleoriza coleoriza is protective cover of radicals and from this radical the root are produced here coleoptile this is called coleoptile coleoptile is the cover of plumule what is plumule from this plumule produce from this plum plumule produce from this plumule produce shoot system shoot from this radical produce root clear and this is the scutellum a scutellum separate the endosperm from embryo okay so here the developing embryo this is the radical portion and above the radical portion the hypocotyl are present hypocotyl means from where the radical portion develop that means roots are developed but above the hypocotyl this is epicotyl hypo means lower okay from a root develop and epicotyl means upper portion from where the shoot system meristems plumules first leaf cotyledon etc develop clear and here the development of embryo embryogenesis so here so this is the zygote and zygote is divided mitotically to produce terminal cell and basal cell this terminal cell produce two cell embryo and this basal cell produce six to eight produce six to eight embryonic cell six to suspensor cell six to eight suspensor cell okay and this embryonic cell develop into globular stage divide and produce round like structure stage and this suspensor cell <coughs> are remain constantly here okay this stage is called globular stage this globular stage then convert into heart shaped stage okay this is called heart stage then this heart stage develop the cotyledon if dicotyledon plant then produce two cotyledon if monocotyledon plant then produce if dicotyledon develop two cotyledon if monocotyledon plant only one cotyledon are developed and from this portion the shoot are developed okay this shoot may stem and this is root may stem from where the is the hypocotyl region and this is epicotyl region from epicotyl region the shoot system are developed and hypocotyl region the root system are developed this is called torpedo stage the first globular stage then heart shaped stage torpedo stage so let let me see the question during the development of dicot embryo development of dicot embryo the heart shaped embryo is followed by a globular embryo not heart first globular stage then heart shaped stage the part of the embryonal axis above the level of cotyledon okay this is the cotyledon above the level this is the cotyledon and above the cotyledon region this present epicotyl okay is epicotyl region while the part below the level of cotyledon below the level of cotyledon is called hypocotyl region this is called hypocotyl region this is called epicotyl region so here the right answer is b next question match the following column monoecious plant dioecious plant clistogamous plant and heterostyly plant monoecious plant monoecious plant means bisexual flower bisexual this is a plant bisexual monoecious plant contain bisexual flower this is a plant the monoecious monoecious and dioecious plant type and the flower produced from monoecious plant is bisexual means same flower contain both the sex okay so bisexual plant flower monoecious example coconut example mango etc the dioecious dioecious means the dioecious plant carry both the sex male and female shape in separate flower okay clistogamous means the flower are closed do not open 
or flower flower part inner part uh, inner parts of the flower do not come outside heterostyly heterostyly means the this is the style of a carpel the style of the female prepared organ style when the style size size of the style are different in different flower this is called heterostyly so here the right answer is b means monoecious plant is mage when male and female both the both sex are present dioecious plant this dead palm okay dead palm or papaya clistogamous flower camellia viola here camellia present viola viola oxalis dead palm here dead palm is present papaya here mage 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 monoecious plant where male and female both are present primula is a dioecious plant where either male present or female present anyone two is the correct answer match the following columns funicles hilum integument chalaja and nucellus okay so here the right answer is b how funicles funicle here right answer funicle funicle means region where the uh, uh, stock of the ovule funicle is the stock of the ovule this is funicle is the stock of the ovule hyla hyla is the region where body of ovules and fuses with funicles integument into one or two protective layer of the ovule chalaja chalaja <coughs> is a basal part of the ovule and nucellus is the mass parent gamete cell so let me explain with proper diagram here this is the embryo here this is the embryo okay here this is the ovary this is the ovary okay this is the ovule this is the integument integument portion this is integument portion and this is the hilum region the funicles and microbial region between the funicles and micro pyrus hilum region is present here 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 the hilum region is present okay this is the funiculus region and this is integument from this integument the seed coat no fruits all fruits are pericarp mesocarp endocarp develop okay from this ovary the fruits are develop from this ovule the seeds are develop clear nucellus in case of perisperm the nucellus remain permanently and chalaja region are fused after fur embryo sac is develop so here the right answer is b next question assertion and reason in each of the following question a statement of assertion is given followed by the corresponding statement of reason just below it of the statement mark the correct answer as if both assertion and reason are true but reason is that is not correctly explain the assertion if both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion if assertion is true but reason is false if both assertion and reason are false so here insects visit flower to gather food pollen yes it is right insect gather visit flowers to gather pollen attraction to flowers prevents the insects attraction to flowers prevent the insect from damaging other part of the plant no this is not right so here the c portion c is the correct answer that is assertion is right but reason is false synergids are elongated cell synergids means this is embryo sac embryo sac this is antipodal cell and this is synergids 
where filiform apparatus are present. The cyanides are elongated cell that occur at the micropyle pole. Micropyle means from where the pollen tube are enter. Okay, so from this portion the pollen tube are enter here. This is called micropyle region. The cyanides are elongated cells that occur at the micropylar pole. Cyanides helps in chemotropic movement of pollen tube. Cyanides help in chemotropic movement. This is not right. Cyanides are haploid cell. After fertilization, they fused with endosperm. Okay. Here, the cyanides help in chemotropic movement. Not cyanides. This is filiform apparatus. This filiform apparatus help the move chemical movement of egg cell, egg nucleus. They are right. So, see here also C answer right, assertion is right, but reason is false. Assertion, coconut tree is distributed in coastal areas over a large part of the world. Mainly coconut trees develop in the ocean, ocean, ocean coastal area. Why? Coconut fruit can float and get this dispersed over thousands of kilo before losing its viability. Okay, so that <coughs> through uh, ocean current, these coconut fruit are transfer or travel thousands of kilometers and they germinate. So here, B answer is if both assertion is not true. <coughs> But region, region is not the region is not the. No, sorry, in, here he, a answer is, here assertion coconut tree is distributed in coastal areas. Why coastal area? Because the fruits dispersed through water and germinate in the coastal area. So here both assertion and region are correct, and region is the correct explanation of assertion. Okay. Next question, given below are five statement regarding, given below five statement regarding contrivances to ensure cross pollination in plants. So, here point is the cross pollination. According to cross pollination, which is the correct answer? First point is dicline. Dicline means anther and stigma mature at different times in a bisexual Dicline means unisexual flower. Okay, so here dicline means unisexual flower. So <coughs> this is not answer. Dicogamy flower are unisexual. Not this is bisexual flower. The bisexual flower is called dicogamy. Propio prepotency. Pollen grains of same flower germinate more rapidly over the stigma than the pollen grains of another flower. Now this is this is just opposite. J if the pollen grown the pollen grain of another flower germinate on stigma is faster than the pollen grain of same flower. Okay, just opposite. Heterostyly, hetero means two or three type of flowers with different height of style okay hetero hetero means different style means style this is right answer harcogamy a mechanical device to prevent self pollination is called harcogamy the so four and five is the correct answer that means d is the correct answer here here are different many different points are present like dicline Dicline means unisexuality. Okay, it is also called dico. Flowers are unisexual, so that self pollination is not dicogamy. Now, self pollination is not possible because flower are unisexual, so there is no self pollination occur. Only cross pollination possible in dicline plant. Example mage. Example mage. Dicogam means bisexual flower. There are two types of bisexual flower: protandry and protogyny. Protandry means pro means before, andry means androsium. Here, androsium mature before and gynosium mature later. Found in sunflower and saliva. Protogyny, proto means 
primitive primarily primarily are gynoecium developed for uh, prior than androecium this is example four o'clock plant okay evening primrose gloriosa plantagon self incompatibility that produce self self incompatibility means when the pollination do not occur this is called self incompatibility harcogamy a mechanical device to prevent self pollination and promote cross pollination this is called harcogamy heterostyle when the style size is different okay uh, so here right answer is d next question which one of the following statement is not true pollen gains are released from anthers at two cell stage not not two cell stage this is four cell stage <coughs> sporogenous cells directly behave as a megaspore mother cell right <coughs> megaspore divides twice to form an eight nucleate embryo sac right eight nucleate here anti antibodal cell here the this have embryo sac here the antibodal cell here the synergids 3d6 and 2 eight nucleate cell egg and synergids always lie near the micropylar end egg and synergids this is synergids and this is egg near the micropyle region from from where the pollen tubes enter micropyle region right so he, this is the right answer this is also right but here the a number is wrong okay four cell stage means the pollen four pollens are attached okay this is tetrad stage next question here this is the division of pollen okay this is four stage four cell stage of pollen select the correct order of endosperm type endosperm is fruits of embryo the end how endosperm are divide okay it is cellular type of division or free nuclear division or helical type of division okay so here the answer is c helical means helical means when the cell divide when the cell divide when the cell divide how is the cell divide three type two types number one cell divide and produce two nucleus means there is septide present this is called cellular means here two cells are produced sometimes these their septa do not produce but nucleus divide this is called free cell, free nuclear sometimes cellular and nuclear cellular and nuclear free nuclear both are present this is called helical type okay so here this is here the cellular type and free nuclear type both are present that is called helical type free nuclear here no septar present that is called free nuclear type here septar present that is called cellular type study the following statement and select the correct option part of the embryo axis lying between radical and radical and cotyledon node is called hypocotyle pericarp can be dry and flesh or fleshy in dicot embryo basal basal cell in dicot embryo dicot embryo basal cell produce single cell suspension the primary endosperm nucleus is triploid okay <coughs> here the primary endosperm nucleus primary endosperm nucleus this is triploid this is the right answer right in dicot embryo basal cell produces single cell suspension not this is the zygote divide to produce okay this is basal cell and epical cell this is epical cell this basal cell produce 6 to 8 suspension cell 6 to 
suspensor cell. 6 to 8 suspensor cell. Then here the globular cell are produced. This is embryo. Embryo, this is suspensor cell. Suspensor cell, this is 6 to 8 in number. Okay. So, here not single, this 6 to 8. Pericarp can be dry or fresh. Pericarp means pericarp is the fruit covering, fruit cover, fruit cover three types pericarp, outer cover, mesocarp, and endocarp. Okay. Pericarp is dry, means not eatable. Example groundnut and mustard. When dry, pericarp is when dry. Pericarp when dry. It may be dry or it may be fleshy. When dry, it is when dry, it is not eatable, but fleshy eatable, like guava, apple, etc. Here like here like groundnut, mustard, the pericarp is not eatable. Okay. Part of the embryo axis, part of the embryo axis lying between radical and cotyledon node is called hypocotyle. Okay. Means if the embryo is the, if the embryo this is suspensor cell, suppose this is suspensor cell. This is the cotyledon. From here, this is cotyledon. Part of the embryo axis along with uh, axis lying between radical and cotyledonary node. This is cotyledonary node, this is cotyledonary node, and this is radical portion. Radical. The radical portion is called hypocotyle and cotyledon portion is called epicotyle. From epicotyle produce shoot system and hypocotyle produce root system. Okay. So here the right answer is B. A, B and D means here A is right, here A is right, B is right, C is false, D is right. A, B and D is right, A, B and D is correct but C is C is not correct. Okay. Next question. Identify the parts labeled A, B, C and D in the given diagram from the list 1 to 7 and select the correct option. So, this is <coughs> the right answer is B means here a is the a is the coleoptile a region is the coleoptile and b region is the coleorhiza c region is the six root cap this is root cap and this is one means cutulum so let me explain with suitable diagram here this is the seed of mage gia mage this is the embryo region, this is endosperm region, this is the outer layering cover. So, here in the embryo region, there is region is coleorhiza, this is called coleorhiza, that is covering of root, radical, covering of radical, from radical produce root, and this is this is coleoptile, Cole, this is coleoptile, this is this is called this is coleoptile, and this is some plumules, so from plum plumules produce shoot upper part of the body and radical develop root and this is the scutellum okay this scutellum divide the or separate the endosperm and the embryo clear so here root cap is present root cap is called coleoptile and shoot cap is called coleoptile uh, sorry root cap is called coleorhiza shoot cap is called coleoptile and the scut scutellum is a present
तो करेक्ट आंसर है इज बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रीड द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट एंड सिलेक्ट द इन करेक्ट वन एपो मिक्सिस इज फॉर एसेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दैट मिमिक्स सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन तो हेयर द व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एपो मिक्सिस एपो मिक्सिस एपो मिक्सिस टू टर्म्स आर प्रेजेंट एपो मीन्स नो मिक्सिस मीन्स मिक्सड दैट इज नो गैमेट आर मिक्सड दैट इज मेल गैमेट एंड फीमेल गैमेट डू नॉट मिक्सड सो here the offspring are 100% parental looks like 100% parental that is asexual reproduction mimic sexual reproduction but this is asexual reproduction the occurrence of more than one embryo in it is this right and right point the occurrence of more than one embryo the occurrence of the occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is called polyembryo definitely in citrus plant there is more than one embryo is developed That is called polyembryo. Apomixis occurs in some species of Asteraceae and Grass. This is the right answer. But in Apospora, <coughs> cells of embryo sac are diploid. Apospora means as they <coughs> are formed from diploid meiospore mother cell. Apospora. First spore are haploid in nature. So <coughs> as they are formed from diploid meiospore mother. Apospora cell. of embryo sac are diploid not haploid this is the wrong point so this is not correct incorrect <coughs> so here the right option is d is the incorrect which one of the following statement is not true not true okay here main point is not true The tapetum helps in the dehiscence of anther. First point: tapetum do not dehiscence. This is the suppose this is pollen. If you sex in it, then four chamber are present. This is one chamber, second two chamber, three chamber, four chamber. Okay. Here is porous tissue are present. This is the tapetum layer, inner layer, and here epidermis, endothelium, middle layer are present. So this is this region. In this region, stomium is present. Stomium. Okay. This stomium, <coughs> when pollen matured, the stomium burst and release the pollen. So tapetum do not take part in dehiscence. X sign of pollen grains is made of sperm. Yes, X sign. So if suppose this is a pollen grain and pollen grain outer layer is called X sign and inner layer is called sub inner layer inner layer is called intine. Intine. The X sign is made by sporopollen. It's hard and tough layer. Sporopollen produced for sporopollen is produced by tapetum. Clear? The fatty stuff, fatty substance. Pollen grain. This is right. Pollen grains of many species called sebia. Definitely, in case of pollen allergy, is very common. Stored pollen in liquid nitrogen. Different germinal, germinal, germinal cell pollen grains or egg, etc., are produced in liquid nitrogen at minus at minus one nine six degrees centigrade. Okay, it is called cryo preservation. Cryo preservation. Cryo preservation. This is the right answer. Not true. Tapetum helps in the dehiscence of anther. Next question: Which of the following sequence is correct for? Which of following sequence is correct for microsporogenesis? So, what is the microsporogenesis process? MMC means microspore mother cell. PMC means pollen mother cell. Same. No problem. Same term. This two two n number of cell. First two n to two n microspore tetrad. Not this two n cell. Here meiosis occur means microspore mother cell pollen mother cell. First meiotically divide to produce microspore tetrad. Means here here the microspore mother cell or pollen mother cell that is two n is behavior. Then it's the divide meiotically meiotically. 
to produce spore tetrad spore tetrad means within a cell four cells are present in this type or in this type okay or sometime this is pollen in this type is produce spore tetrad are produced then spore tetrad then the, the, this is the uh, this spore tetrad joined each other by callus okay then callus enzyme that produced by tapetum is separate the spore and produce four haploid microspore mother cell my microscope cell or microspore or pollen grains so b is the correct answer this is the microsporocyte or microspore mother cell or pollen mother cell then divide meiotically okay meiosis 1 then 2n and 4n 4 haploid microspore produce this microspore joint each other by callus this callus is break down by callus callus produced by tapetum and they separate from each other and produce four different microspore next point after culturing the anther of a plant few diploid plants were got along with haploid plant which of the following part might have given rise to diploid plant diploid plant means diploid plant produced from diploid cell and haploid plant produced from haploid cell <coughs> this is pollen the inside inside the pollen what have what are present inside the pollen this is pollen pollen grain the heck what is present here some wall of the pollen is present cytoplasm and this is the nucleus of the pollen this is haploid in nature but this wall x sign and x sign they are diploid in nature so if after culturing the anther of a plants few diploid plants were go were got along with the haploid plant the so from this nucleus from this nucleus produce haploid plant but from here produce twin plant diploid plant so here the vegetative cells of pollen no, not vegetative cell x sign of veg not veg because the pollens do not divide here the pollen here the pollen pollen nucleus do not divide into vegetative cell or generative cell only one nucleus is present so from this nucleus produce haploid plant and x sign of the pollen or pollen wall and cells of the anther wall so here x sign not the pollen wall is made by x sign and in time so not only x sign is also wrong answer generative cell of pollen here the pollen do not divide generative cell okay so here the cells of the anther wall is the right answer because anther wall cell contain both exon and x sign and in time and any from any of these cells produce diploid plant where flower bud from flower by anther taken then anther cultured in two medium a one is solid medium one is liquid medium this is called suspension culture this is solid medium culture then anther germinate to produce group of cell here also produce then callus formation what is callus callus is a mass of undifferentiated tissue mass of anther matlab this tissue do not produce any root stem or leaves but many number of cells are accumulatively present this is called callus then callus embryo develop into embryo culture medium okay this embryo transfer to the laboratory soil then hardening of the ground okay this is the option right diagram diagram the first filiform apparatus this ape is the filiform apparatus this ape is the 
filiform apparatus. So what is the function of filiform apparatus? When the pollen tube enter into the embryo sac, the egg nucleus do not move in any other way. That maintained by maintained by filiform apparatus. Filiform apparatus actually maintain the movement of tube nucleus, gelatin nucleus of the pollen tube inside the embryo sac. Okay, filiform apparatus. Number two, central cell. These cells, this is a polar nucleus, and the remaining the polar, polar nucleus who are present is called central cell. Okay, antipodal cell, where the filiform apparatus present, the opposite side cell is called antipodal cell. So here the correct answer is if filiform apparatus, then C central cell and A antipodal cell. C is the correct answer. Match the column and select the correct combination. Twenty-eight number. Ovule, funicles, nucellus, polar nucleus, endosperm, ovule stalk, seed, and perisperm. So, what is ovule? Ovule is the seed. Ovule after fertilization produce seed. Funicles, ovule stalk is called funicles. Nucellus. Is a perisperm permanent permanent nucleus is called perisperm. Polar nuclei is the polar nuclei is produce endosperm. So here the right answer is B. A ovule here here ovule produce seed. Funicules is the ovule stalk. Nucellus produce perisperm and polar nucleus produce endosperm the correct match of the following this is plumule plumule where the shoot system develop radical this where the root system develop hilum hilum is the uh, embryonic stem scutellum is the modified cotyledon the first here the correct answer is a how the the plumule here represent the embryonic stem plumule is represent the embryonic stem where the step or from where the stem or shoot system is developed radical embryonic root where the root system is developed hilum hilum is the attachment uh, hilum is the embryonal uh, embryonal axis and scutellum sorry not, hilum is the attachment of seed attachment of seed and scutellum is the <coughs> modified cotyledon now this is the answer this is the hilum okay this is the hilum this is hilum where the embryo sac where the embryo ovary attached to the funicles okay this is the and if you see the geomed seed this is the endosperm here coleoriza and plum radical coleoptile and radical a plumule this is plumule from the root system is developed this is radical from the root system is developed. Okay, a scutellum. This is a scutellum. A scutellum. A scutellum. <coughs> a scutellum is a modified cotyledon. A is the right answer. Next question. Match the columns and find out the correct combination. Megasporangium. 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 Is ovule. Megasporangium is ovule. Female gametophyte. Embryo sac. Junction between ovule and funicles hilum 
an ovarian cavity is called locule ovarian cavity means when the this, if you this is the fruit section okay and this is called locule where the ovule or seed are attached okay this is called locule 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 so here is the right answer is a where megasporangium is ovule female gametophyte is the embryo sac junction between ov ovule and funicles is hilum ovarian cavity is locule in angiosperm male and female sex organ are respectively known as androsium and gynosium and in the life cycle of angiosperm seven cell mature female gametophyte and three cell mature male gametophyte is formed which of the following is also very important unique event unique event occurring in the these plants that is not found in other plants so here they want to know the unique feature they are going to do, know the unique feature they want to know the unique feature of angiosperm that is not present in any other group of plant like bryophyta pteridophyta etc the presence of vascular tissue and seeds these vascular tissue or and seeds also present in pteridophyta pterido phyta and seeds is present in pteridophyta and gymnosperm and seeds of seeds is present in gymnosperm okay formation of haploid endosperm haploid endosperm is the characteristic feature of gymnosperm syngamy syngamy always occur in algae bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm all syngamy means where male and female gametes are fused or sexual reproduction but double fertilization only occur in angiosperm now where it is produced occur so it is a unique features <coughs> the last question is choose the correct option zygote pro embryo globular embryo heart shaped embryo mature embryo zygote globular embryo pro embryo heart shaped embryo mature embryo so here the correct answer is a correct answer is a how let me explain this is the after zy this is zygote first division of zygote produce embryonic cell and suspensor cell okay this is embryonic cell produce embryonic cell means epigal cell this zygote first produce two cell that is epigal cell epigal cell and basal cell this basal cell produce this suspensor cell and epigal cell produce this embryonic cell okay this embryo develop and this suspensor cell what is the function of suspensor cell <coughs> suspensor cell help to attach the embryo to the endosperm okay for food this is the embryo first stage globule globular stage round shape stage globular stage then heart shaped stage then torpedo stage so here the zygote then pro embryo means zygote means pro suspensor cell produce this is called pro embryo stage globular stage this is the globular stage then heart shaped stage this is heart shaped stage and this is mature embryo stage okay so this is the end of my video thank you everyone if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to know something or some other questions please comment me thank you